Okay, so in um, creating a web banner, we're going to create it um, in Photoshop and we're going to create it to a fixed size. There are alternatives to create um, banners that are um, all different sizes, responsive, scale and things like that. But we are going to do a really simple fixed size banner. We're going to create a new document. So create new. And if you have a look over here, it has some presets. It's got, these are entire web pages. These are some layouts for web pages. But we are just going to go custom over in the side here. We need to be in pixels. And we're going to do it one thousand pixels wide and we're going to do it 210 pixels high. Now you may want to adjust those later. Um, the pixels per inch doesn't matter. Um, that's just going to be nice wide and narrow. And then when I create when I click create this is actually going to create the blank document that we're going to use eventually. <clears throat> so this is our banner. So one of the things that we can do is we can have a look at our website here. So I'm going to create something that's slightly different to this. But I'm going to use this photo in the background. So I'm going to use this, this photo here and I'm going to extract some colours from it to use in my banner. So to get those, I'm going to go to a, learn to type color.adobe.com, and I'm going to upload that photo. Now, if you need another photo, you can use un splash.com. Now say, uh, do you want me to create a different kind of banner for a different website? Yeah. So if I was doing a mountain biking website, so I might grab a picture about mountain bikes. Um, so this one here, um, I'm looking for something with some nice colours in it. So this one's got some nice yellows and stuff. That looks okay. I'm going to download this uh, medium size so this and I'm going to use this image in my banner as well so it's downloaded to my downloads folder this is the attribution to my image that I would include on my website somewhere so just copy and paste that but back over in color.adobe I'm going to show this in my folder show the that and I'm going to extract the theme. So I've done this a couple of times. Drag that up there. And that's got some pretty... Actually, that's not too bad. I don't mind that colour. That's a fairly strong colour. I can do some... Um, if I want bright colours. Um, dark, if I'm... Well, that's a bit deep. I like the bright. So... Oh, I want a blue though, so I don't like that brown, so I'm going to try and find something in there. Uh, so just, actually that doesn't look too bad. So these are the colours I'm going to use. Um, so, and that's the photo I'm going to use. So to put my photo into here, again, I'm just going to go to my downloads and I'm going to drag it into my f picture and I'm going to scale, just drag and scale up and I kind of like the handlebars like a bit of a, I don't know, might straighten them a bit so, or you could, if you wanted to show a bit of you can a bit of tread actually might be nice. Look at that. So I'm going to use that. Now I want a mountain biking font. 
So I'm just going to type. So I've just I've just put a picture in the over the top of it. Now I'm just going to put a font over the top. So I use the font tool. So I'm going to select T, the T there. Click here and mountain or Mr. Roberts goes for a bike ride is the name of my website. Mr. Roberts goes for a bike ride is the name of my website. Oh, that's way too big. So I might um, think about my website name. I've seen some of your website names. They are huge. So I might just go Mr. Roberts off uh, where are we? Off road. Um, now that's a terrible font, terrible colour. And to change the font, I'm going to select it and then I'm going to select one of my fonts here and it actually gives me samples of them and I'm looking for something that's a bit off-roady and um, uh, that's a bit ugly. So just having a look through all these. So I would eventually come up with um, I've got some pretty horrible fo fonts in here. Um, yuck. Yuck. Oh, look at that. That's Harry Potter one. I'm going to use the Harry Potter one because that the colour. So again, the colour. I can see I've got my font over here. So I select my layer, select my text again, and I'm going to select all of it. Now my colour. I'm going to do my colour straight from here. I'm going to use this colour. 1A415F. So I'm going to copy that back over to here, select my font color up the top, and I'm just going to paste that there. So I didn't copy it properly, obviously. Copy that back over to Photoshop and paste. And I need to make it bigger so I can slide that there. I can move it around. Now, I'm looking at that and I say, I can't really read that. But I like the colours. So there's a couple of things I can actually do. And this is where um, we're going, I'm going to show you. So down here at the bottom, and you can just about see it, there's this little FX icon. It's just off screen, but just down below here, FX. And I'm going to go blending options, which brings up some effects. So I'm going to start with a stroke around the outside of it. So I tick it, click on stroke, and I'm going to start with changing the color to white. And straight away, that is so much more readable. So straight away, I've gone from something that wasn't very readable to something readable. Now, a lot of the other ones you can play around with, like Bevel and Emboss gives you a sort of 3D effect, and you can click on that, and you can play around with different effects there. Subtle, so not very big, is better than lots. Um, drop Shadow is another one that can often be effective. Again... You don't want it too big. like So you don't want huge drop shadow. Um, and then when you're finished with that, we go OK. And that, like, it's still a bit hard to read around there. So if I want to adjust the f effects, I can double click on the effects. I have to move my little thing here. Double click on the effects and it will bring them back up. I'm going to make the stroke here slightly larger. I don't want it too large. So I've only got it at three pixels, but that's fairly readable. 
not a great banner, but it's a lot better than just having nothing there. Um, my photo in the background, I might play around with some of the adjustments. So I might go in and I might go, okay, I want to make it um, a bit more vibrant. So I go in here and I get my vibrant and I can really ramp the colors up and down. Um, so I can make it really vibrant. Um, so saturation and vibrant. Um, saturation is the amount of color, vibrance is the intensity of it. So if you sort of, you can get different effects. Um, the filters, I can go into filter and I could, uh, what's a nice filter? Um, maybe a bit of stylize, um, emboss. Um, let's have a look at the emboss filter. Um, see what that does. A lot of these filters, oh, that's, sorry, I embossed the vibrance layer. So click the picture, <coughs> filter, and then stylize, um, emboss, and ugh, that's pretty horrible. Um, filter. So I'm just having a look at different effects. Um, trace contours might. So that gives you a different kind of effect. Filter. So, and we just, so a bit of a blur. Doesn't look too bad. So, once I've finished, how do I get into my website? So, I go File, Save. This is going to save it as a PSD, so I'm going to save it as my banner. And then I'm going to go File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. This is actually going to be the file I'm going to put into my website. So it's going to eventually come up with, eventually, this. And then I look for where I have saved my website. So OneDrive, website, um, I think I'm in here, images. I'm going to call this banner2. Saved it. Back over in brackets, if I've done everything OK, back over in brackets, um, refresh my file for you. You can see banner 2 and I just changed banner 2 and when I have a look at my website is that going to show up? Um, home page or was it which one did I put it on? Which page did I put it on? Page 3 has my Page three has my banner on it, and it's there. Now, the question is, how do I make everything the same width? Whoa. What? So, I've got my banner up the top, and I've got this nav bar that goes the whole screen. How do I make everything the same width? Yes? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll quickly show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a div class main content and I'm going to put that around my entire page all the way down to the bottom. So that is my whole page is going to be inside that main content so you can see that everything is in there. In my CSS, I am going to make a style that says main content. And I'm going to say width 1000 pixels. Save that. 
And when I reload this, it's made everything there. The next step is, how do I center everything? Again, all I need to do is I need to go margin left, auto, margin right, auto, and when I reload it, it's centered everything in the middle of the page at a fixed width. So this is starting to be not too bad. You can adjust the um, layout. We could make the top of the banner curve. We could do lots of other things. But that's it. That's all I'm going to show in this video at the moment. Um, and I'm going to stop the recording and see how we go from there.